actually, everyone should probably hear this. So Claire asked me to be my maid of honor. Sierra, it's a, no, please let me finish. Seeing Claire after all this time caught me off guard and her request really caught me off guard. But she asked me to think about it and I did. I thought about what it truly means to be a maid of honor and um, well, to me that means friendship. And friendships can be very complicated. Everyone knows that Claire and I have had a really complicated one, but, uh, well, she knows me and I know her and she has had a really rough couple of years, but I know in my heart that at her core, she is a very, very good person. Somebody who has comforted me and supported me and, you know, honestly just made me laugh harder than anyone has ever made me laugh in my life. And I know there hasn't been much to laugh about recently, but I am really hopeful that all that is going to change. And, you know, I figured my wedding is the perfect place to start to help us find the joy again and the fun and that friendship that meant the world to me. Claire, you mean so much to me, so, um, if you would like to, I would love it if, if you would be my maid of honor. If you still want the job, of course, you know. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You will not be sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. No. Say it like you mean it. Sorry, Gwen, that I flirted with those other women. But I didn't sleep with any of them, and there hasn't been anybody since you. You and your little wife? No. That's all in your little head. But clearly, the nutcases are always very attractive to me. <laughs> okay. Now, apologize for calling me a crazy bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now give it to me. Huh? and I've returned that book. We can get back together. What? Oh, relax, darling. You'll have time to return your book. Maybe we can talk about it. Upstairs. Nice to meet you. Crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you're like a father to me too.